Good evening. Please have a seat. No, I'm kidding. Um, today was just get that product placement out of here. Oops, sorry. One PepsiCo paying me one million dollars. No. Um, today was a little bit of a weird thrifting day, as you can see from the thumbnail. You know what I found, but I went out with the noblest of intentions. Uh, first of all, the noblest of intentions to actually be able to speak the words that are coming out of my mouth properly. Uh, failed at that already, just uh, 30 seconds into a video. Great. No. I went out to find VHS tapes. I was off today, I went out thrifting, and uh, I guess at least as far as my main mission goes, it was a complete bust, not a VHS tape to be seen, not anything interesting anyway, unless I just want yet another copy of The Little Mermaid, but I have plenty of those, believe me. Uh, but no, I walked away with, instead of VHS tapes, a ton of uh, what seemed to be mainly Happy Meal toys. Happy Meal, Kids Meal, you know, all the fun, uh, all the fun fast food toys from the, the 80s. I'm trying not to look at them. 80s and early 90s. Um, a lot of this stuff, like, these were my toys back in the day. Like, as I look back, nostalgically, I realize I get the feeling most of my toys came from, uh, from Happy Meals. And I couldn't be more thrilled about it. So when I find things like this, I'm over the moon. Um, I tried, as I was grabbing bags, I tried to only look in as much as, like, to the point of saying this bag is worth the, the whatever, $2.99 or $3.99. And I tried not to look at everything in the bag. So this is kind of a half mystery unboxing half I know what's here um, but either way we're gonna go through it again I'm gonna try this is a lot of stuff I'm gonna try to rapid fire some of this but uh, but we all know how I am we all know what I am um, I'm a creature of nostalgia and I'm also a unfocused rambler so this might be a longer video. I'm gonna try to <whistles> edit it down. So hopefully, however long it took me to film, hopefully for you, it's a little snappy. I know it already is not, but let's start getting snappy right now. Okay, so I closed up the camera. I also put gloves on because I am kind of disgusted with YouTube videos where people have nasty fingernails and I'm just not gonna lie I have hands for radio you understand I have weird toe thumbs I have Megan Fox thumbs I'll just say it uh, half the time when I watch some of my thrifting videos uh, and my hands are in there and my nails are dirty it's gross so I decided last second to put on some gloves for your sake your sake and mine okay <clears throat> I decided to start with this bag. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six bags to get through. This one is the most random, has a lot of weird little things in it. Um, some cool things that I can see, not necessarily um, Happy Meal stuff, not entirely, but I thought we might as well start with this one, get some of this, some of this stuff out of the way, you know what I mean? So let's start going through it here. And first of all, I, I saw this. I was trying to sit on this, not say too much. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, monster in my pocket. That's right. Uh, I was just saying, I don't know, anybody who watches knows we live-streamed uh, Monster in My Pocket for the NES, the video game, if you remember the 80s toys. And, uh... I was just lamenting how you never see this kind of stuff out in the wild when you're thrifting. You know, you find Happy Meal toys, you find whatever, but you never find Monster in My Pocket. Well, I should start complaining like that more often because look what shows up. Monster in My Pocket. Awesome. Super excited. Um, these are just little things. Little, uh, these are from, at least this one I remember is, I think, a Muppet Baby. 
maybe Berenstein Bears. Um, missing some wheels there. But uh, I remember them from Happy Meal Toys. I, I want to say they were Muppet Babies. Uh, this is another super cool thing that I noticed in the bags. Um, muscle wrestlers. Do you remember these guys? Uh, I, I don't think I had any muscle wrestlers. I knew kids who had them and I was always extremely jealous. So once again, here's another thing that I consistently say like, oh, you never see those out there. Oh, I wish I could have those. Well, now I got them. Um, and there's a few more in, in uh, this bag, and I think there might be more in some of the, the bags elsewhere. I don't know what this is. Some of the stuff, uh, you're going to have to help me figure out what it is. What is this? You see it? What is that? There's no markings as far as I can see. So I don't know. I don't know. Here's another... Here's another muscle wrestler. Beautiful. Um, here was something that blew my mind when I saw it. Um, those of you who know what it is, here, I'll, I'll put it on my finger like this. Those of you who know what this is, um, I was very excited to get this in the wild. This is the disguise of a Donatello Ninja Turtles figure from back in the day. I can't remember what it was called. It was probably called like uh, Groove uh, Radical Disguise Donatello or something like that. Uh, but he's got a trench coat and a fedora. And uh, he, that's, and I have that toy, but I don't have any of the pieces that go with it anymore uh, because I was a messy child and, uh, you know, stuff happens. What are these guys? I remember these guys. What's this? You guys, you have to help. <laughs> In the comments, please. I recognize this guy, but I don't... I don't remember what he's from. Please. Help. Just two dollars a day. Can, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what these are. There's, this, this little thing is so random. We've got Legos. We've got... Spiders. <laughs> Uh, I've got a little bug eraser. Cool. <laughs> a lot of stuff in here not worth showing. What's this little dude? Who's this little guy? Do you know him? Do you know this guy? I'm like a cop now. Hey, you seen this guy? Angel Morales. You know him? I don't know what that is. He looks... He looks like I should know what he is. Um, we're gonna skip some of this stuff. Because there's a lot of rando things in this one. There's another one of these guys. I don't know what these guys are. But they're super familiar. It's driving me nuts. Um, ooh. Here's a... a an ancient, an ancient Lego figure. Kids, long before the days of the Harry Potter and Star Wars Lego figures, back before every movie franchise got Legos, you just had, you just had medieval dudes. Medieval dudes and cowboys and generic man. Well, that's, that's probably, that's probably worth a couple bucks. An, an act, a vintage little Lego dude. There's a bajillion of these guys. Do you remember these? They had like little books, didn't they? Bunch of these guys in here. Remember them? Hey! I can just stand them up, I guess. Except old Blocky here doesn't want to stand up. I don't remember what those guys are from. Is this one of their weapons? <laughs> <laughs> what are these weapons? There's a there's a mess of these little little odds and ends in this one. Oh, those, you know what those are? I think 
I could be wrong about this. You know what these little skewers are? Those are from a Beetlejuice action figure. The one where he, he has all, he's like a shish kebab. He's got all the, the things stuck through him. That is awesome. And look at these little guys. Please tell me, toy people, please tell me what, if you know what some of these weapons are from. I'm very curious, especially now that we've, we have some confirmed Beetlejuice pieces in here. Here's another, another muscle wrestler. If it decided to ever focus, <laughs> I know it's very tough camera. There we go. This is not going to be a snappy video, is it? There's too many cool... I'm, I'm like I'm drooling over too many cool things. It's not going to be fast. Okay. Okay, we're going to speed it up. First of all, that was like one of the weird... That was a very strange... What is this? See this little backpack? Toy people, what is this little backpack? Backpacks, backpacks, we got your backpacks. It's got a little, it obviously goes on a, a, a dude. Um, very interesting. Lots of cool stuff in that one. Um, okay, we're going to move a little quicker. This one, I can see something that I want to check out in this one. This one doesn't have as many things in it, but it might be a quality over quantity situation. Um, first of all, we've got this really disgusting He-Man, what I think is an eraser. Um, I think, right? He's like bendy. I think he's in a, I guess, I don't know. But his, his, like his, the way his face is done. I mean, obviously the, the, the painting is, is minimal. He sort of feels like those muscle wrestlers. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, my, my, my money is going on, um, eraser. This is from, I don't know who this guy is from, but this says 1984 on it. His little copyright on his butt. Leave it in the comments, please. <laughs> Who is this guy from? Or where where is this guy from? Um, I believe this is a newer toy. This is a gummy bears, but I'm pretty sure it's it's a new thing. No, it says 85 on it. That is that is legit. I thought I know they re-released uh, kind of some Disney afternoon figures recently. But this is, uh, this is not that. This is a legit 1985. That's awesome. Um, we've got, uh, Baron Stoon Bear. Baron Stoon Bear, do you pronounce it differently? Because that's how I remember it from childhood. Um, Cabbage Patch Kid. Not quite as cuddly as they normally are. Uh, and this... This is exciting to me. Uh, I believe it was Burger King, if I remember right. This was not McDonald's. Doesn't say, but I remember these being from Burger King. These were cup holders, so there'd be a cup right here. So he would hold on to the cup, and then he would be like your handle for when you drank. And they have, uh, I still have, this, uh, so this is a double for me, but I was super excited to see it, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, but I have Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, uh, and there is a fourth, uh, I think it was Darkseed, who was the villain. So they're, they're just a huge part of my, ch my childhood. I, I played with these like action figures all day, air day. So that was very fun to see. Oh my god, this one is going to be... This is going to be a good one. I can feel it. This has a lot of... This has a lot of Happy Meal stuff on it. On it. In it. Oh my god. Look at this. First of all, my faves. My all-time faves. The Rescue Rangers. 
I love these toys. I have I have several of each of these, but I don't know if I have any complete anymore because all of these pieces come off and interchange. Uh, and that was, I guess, part of the fun was mixing and matching all of their little pieces. I don't even know if this is technically correct for what they're each supposed to have. I don't remember, but uh, I feel like this is right. I remember Chip having the ruler propeller, uh, but these are things whenever I see them, which is occasionally, um, I snap them up. And I could see in the bag that these were relatively complete or complete with, you know, uh, so those to me, like any day where I get, I can get some rescue ranger, happy meal toys. I think these were happy meal, um, is just a great day. These were once again, these were toys I played with every day when I was a little kid and they're just few toys are like as just loaded with nostalgia as these are, you know, maybe battle beasts. Well, for sure, battle beasts. I'm trying to think of some other home run toys that, that just, I really loved as a kid, but these were, these were definitely at the top of the list. Who's this? I forget, what were they called? The fry kids? Fry kids. I was going to say fry guy, but I don't think that's right. It's fry kids. If I remember right. Um, they were part of the Ronald McDonald fantasy land, uh, along with the Grimace and what birdie, birdie, not birdo, birdie and the Hamburglar. Uh, the fry kids I always thought were super neat. And I remember these toys from back in the day too. As with this, oh my God, look at, do you remember Big Mac? The, uh, the, I think it was the chief of police in, uh, Ronald McDonald land. Uh, now if I remember, weren't these the, like, yeah, back them up. Oh yeah. That's the one. That's the stuff. Oh my God. And these were another slam dunk home run, uh, touchdown. Uh, other sports goal goal uh, I'm trying to I'm buying some time here because I'm trying to get these all snapped up do you remember these just these little toys depicting uh, uh, McDonald's food and that's all they are you remember those well remember remember again because these are actually secret robots uh, if you were a kid in the 80s, you remember these bad boys. He's kind of hunched over a little bit. Like that. And of course, the Fry Terminator. Are you Sarah Connor? There was also this one, which looks older. Um. It's fries, but it's in the the very old version of the fry container. These robots that I just showed were from 87. What's this guy say? 88. Oh my God, it made a fool out of me. It's even newer. I have never seen this guy before. Look at him. He has a working mouth. He's got a working mouth. Look at that. I've never seen this one before. Little legs, whoop. Look at that. I am a proud papa right now, adding these guys to the collection. Once again, this is, this is thrifting by the way. You know, I go out looking for maybe some, some kooky horror tapes. And what do I come back with? Uh, Tasmanian Devil. This doesn't look that cool, and honestly, it's not that cool. But looking at the bottom, I don't know if you'd be able to actually make it out, but it's from Arby's. There we go. It's an Arby's meal toy. 
You don't see, you know, we all think about uh, McDonald's and Burger King, but you forget Arby's had toys. Actually, Arby's, didn't Arby's have uh, the tang mouths, the tang lips? I love those. By the way, I forgot to show this. From the last bag, but this is King Hippo from uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, or just Punch Out, if uh, you prefer. I don't know if this is vintage or not. I can't really read the butt. It looks like it might say 1989 or 1988, but it could also say 1999. I mean, I guess either way, it's 20 years old but it might be 30 years old. It might be from when Punch-Out came out, but that's another super neat little find either way. King Hippo was, you know, for me, especially because of the Captain N cartoon, um, Hippo was just always my favorite, uh, my favorite character from Punch-Out. Here's another we oh boy, this is gonna be another weird one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's a, let's approach this with some amount of organization. Look at this. A DuckTales. Woo! DuckTales, woo! A little spy telescope. Ooh la la. I assume, I don't know if that was, that was McDonald's, 1987 McDonald's, it says. Mystery solved. Um, we've got a, once again, just a, just some French fries, no big deal. Oh wait, it's a pencil sharpener. Yeah. Prepare to be wowed. Um, we got a lot of weird, what are, what are these things? What is this? You tell me. You guys gotta... You hold the information in your hands. You need to tell me these things. Because I don't know what's going on. Is this part of it too? Danger sewer gas. This feels like maybe Toxic Crusaders toys, maybe? I don't know. There's definitely some odds and ends in here. Um, we've got more muscle dudes, which this guy looks pretty rad. He's like a Frankenstein. Come on, camera. Frankenstein. He's like a Frankenstein superhero. And then we've got a little uh, volleyball man who is also a wrestler. Makes sense to me. Um... This is the kind of thing that makes you realize how milk toast uh, <laughs> American culture might be compared to uh, to '80s Japanese culture. It was pretty wild back then. They're like, yeah, just I don't know, make a. How about this? How about wrestlers who are volleyballs, but that have a face on them? And how about a Frankenstein that's a superhero that is also a wrestler? How about that? Um, Guys, help. Look at these things and tell me what they are. Oh my god. There's weapons galore. I don't know. I mean, that looks... These feel like probably some sort of... Maybe some sort of Ninja Turtle thing. Maybe, uh, like Slash? I don't remember what Slash's weapons were. They're obviously not the Turtles. Because um, the turtles would not use such vulgar... Ooh, look at it. Oh, look at that. There's a Raphael belt. So there's a little bit of Ninja Tur... A little more Ninja Turtles kicking around in here. It's like a grappling hook of some sort. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Now we got a couple more of these little goofballs. Once again, these are these guys 
are the thing I most want to remember what they're from. And maybe they're just like cheap, off-brand, whatever. Um, but I definitely remember them from when I was a kid. Oh, especially this guy. Look at this guy. He's like a little... Uh, uh, you know the guy from Power Rangers. I can't think of his name right now. Of course. Because um, when the heat is on, that's when Brian can never remember anything. Uh, and here's another... Th these have to be Toxic Crusader. They have to be, right? A little toxic backpack of some sort. They have to be Toxic Crusader. Um, there's a million other weird little things in this one. A little micro machine. Boom. Um, a little... California Raisin. Boom. And this, which I think has to be the coolest the coolest piece of this puzzle. Um, do you remember these guys? Look at that. I could not believe I didn't see this when, uh, I didn't notice this when I actually bought these bags. I only noticed this when I got home. Um, I've actually been looking at these guys on eBay recently. I still have one. Uh, of course now, once again, my, my wonderful brain fails me, even though I've been searching for them on eBay. I forget what they were called, but uh, they... I have one from when I was a kid, and I've been kind of looking at them again, because just holograms are neat. Um, oh, look at this. And yeah, so one falls into my lap. Look at it. completes the set. <laughs> it's a little baby fry kid. Now she's a little baby fry kid. Okay. Calm down. Calm down, Brian. It's getting weird. Getting weird. <laughs> Um, let's do this one. Whoa. It's a little earth eraser, I guess. What is in here? This one is not super exciting, not gonna lie, but there were a couple, and, and I knew that going into this one. First of all, little Bambi toys. Those were McDonald's, right? They were either, I can't remember if it was McDonald's or Burger King, but I remember these I remember these toys. We got another California raisin. Ooh, I bet you wonder how I knew. <laughs> Gotta sing it like that so you don't get copyright striked. Um, yeah, the rest of this is pretty boring. We don't need to waste any time on it, except of course there's another Booperstoon Bear, which is exactly how I remember it from when I was a kid. And another vintage gummy bear. Sizable gummy bear with some heft. They've got they've got some heft to them. And another another muscle wrestler. Hey, I do let's wrestle. No, sorry. Um, okay, this is the last one, and I think it's, I think it's a good one. It's another quantity, quality over quantity. Um, oh my god, look at, there's a still in the plastic fry kid. Uh, it's probably time he came out of the plastic, because, uh, you know, look at this. We've got Fraggles. Look, Mama Fraggle. Uh, are you not amazed? Are you not entertained? How? Look at this. Look at him go. <laughs> um, and finally, a scooter. No, I'm kidding. Finally, we talked about the Rescue Rangers uh, right here. This is one I do not have. I don't have Dale. So this is a super big deal 
for me, for yours truly. I am so excited to have him, to add him to the collection. That's super great. Wait, there's one more thing. There's something that rolled off the, the uh, rolled out of the, the group when I opened the bag, although I don't know how to open this thing. It's like an egg. What is this? Do you know what this is? Have you seen this? It's like an egg. I'm trying to open it and not having much luck. That's the only part that seems to want to open. Um, okay, so it goes like that. You're just gonna watch me. Oh, it's like an an. It's an elephant. Okay, is what is this? I don't even know what this is. What company is this from? From Mattel, 1985. It's uh, an elephant in the in an egg. <laughs> Guys, oh, it's a woolly mammoth. Okay, doesn't explain it any better. Um, woolly mammoth egg, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it does have a tail, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show its tail off to you guys. Um, there you go. Whoo! Not as snappy as I would have liked it to have been, but I had fun, and I hope you did too. Uh, sorry. For making you watch all of that but i thought it was it was just neat it was neat and it was fun to share so thank you everybody so much for watching as always thank you so much to the patrons to the subs to the people that comment and people just watch once again i'm a lurker on a lot of channels too so i don't like making people feel bad who just watch videos and aren't super engaged if if you're here at all if you're getting any amount of entertainment at all from this channel um, I'm happy about that, and I appreciate the fact that you're here in any way, shape, or form. So, until next time, you know that whether you are a uh, dirty dog sleeping in the sun or an alley rat eating up the night, you are always welcome here at Hat Hole Home Video. Just as long as you're not a turd that's here to spoil someone else's good time. As long as you're not that... You can go, the, those those guys, and I use the word guys, meaning guys and gals, they can go someplace else. The rest of us can be here and have a good time, and it's all good. All right, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm rambling again. Goodbye.